La estimada audiencia de Modern Machine Shop México, estamos en el segundo día de la Emo Hanover en Alemania y una conferencia muy interesante sobre UMATI, la interfaz de interconexión entre máquinas y herramientas que brinda información entre todas las máquinas y herramientas de un taller de producción, obtiene la información de las herramientas de corte, qué pieza está utilizando. Eh, vamos a tener aquí al ingeniero doctor Alexander Bruce, director de investigación de la VDW, de las fabricantes de máquina herramienta de Alemania, que a su vez nos va a contar todas las novedades de la UMATI y también la nueva alianza estratégica que van a hacer con la AMT de Estados Unidos, que ellos también por su parte han desarrollado la MT Connect, que es también una interfaz para comunicación entre máquinas que ha, ha sido desarrollada en Estados Unidos. Entonces, vamos a ver estas novedades. Hi, I'm Alexander Bruns. I'm the director of research of technology of VDW, the German Machine Tool Builders Association. And uh, we're here at EMO at the UMATI booth. UMATI is a joint in initiative by industry to foster the use of open standards for data exchange between machinery and uh, software. Uh, UMATI is based on OPC UA, which is a core technology to implement standards for exchanging information between industrial assets. And uh, so what we are doing or what's, what's going on in the world right now is that there are many industries, machine building industries, are writing so-called OPC UA companion specifications to define the information needs of their respective technology. So there's an OPC UA companion specification for metrology, there's one for machine tools, there's one for additive manufacturing and about 50 more. But the thing is all these companion specifications in the end come together on the customer side, which means the customer has an ecosystem consisting of uh, heritage data infrastructure, heritage machines. And uh, basically what they want to do is they may want to make sure that all these standards that are developed are really put to use in the same identical way. And because we are moving across these many um, industries, we have created Umati, first of all, as a community initiative to bring all the users and, and, and creators of the standards together. We have uh, established this also uh, to do reference implementations, to test and to see how you best implement these standards. Uh, to learn from each other and in the end it's also about marketing and visibility to see Umati is not only present here for machine tools, we used to be present last year also for the plastics machinery industry or for the robot uh, industry, so it's really across all these platforms. And uh, what we try to do is to uh, yeah, enable the customer to use very much of his uh, existing um, uh, connectivity And this is basically now where we uh, start to collaborate with MT Connect. I mean, MT Connect is a similar initiative. Um, the technology is a little bit different because we uh, started to use OPC UA uh, embedded from the beginning. Um, MT Connect has developed itself into that. Um, basically, the question by today is how we can be join the best of the two worlds. And that's by two things. We need to see in which fields we can harmonize standardization because there's a lot of standardization going on all around the world. And then we have to see uh, there's, let's say, different different uh, heritage installations also of MT Connect by different users. Uh, what needs to be done that they are also able to connect, for example, to an environment that is UMATI based, which means use different specifications uh, for different machinery. And in the end, you get a harmonized connectivity of all the data towards the software systems that you have. And I'm really happy that we can now move forward together. And uh, I think this will, for, will be for the benefit of the entire industry and the entire world. We all live in a world where we see that data is more and more of a base to do business. Uh, but the problem is if you want to do data-driven business, that means you have to have data. And certainly Umadi uh, takes care of the bit getting data in and out of machines. But then the next thing is every corporate, every company lives in their own data space. They have usually a cloud infrastructure, server infrastructure, where they store their data. And now the thing is to, to put it to use, you actually need to exchange data. And if you want to exchange data, that really means you have to grant third parties access to your data. But because you cannot see that data is tampered or stolen or what's happening to data, you need to do that in a trusted way. So the greatest obstacle for a data-driven economy is actually trust 
to whom I can give my data and what is he going to do with that. With that. And for that, uh, there is a concept uh, arising which is called federated data spaces. That basically means I need a, uh, a, a, a legal end, uh, how I can negotiate the access to the data and I, how I can make data accessible and for which matter. So there needs to be a legal framework, there needs to be a business framework, and there need, needs to be a technical framework, really how to access the data physically. And all of this uh, needs to be controlled by an independent entity. And to that end, uh, there is an initiative coming up uh, in Germany, but we see that is immediately also being embraced in Europe, which is called Manufacturing X, to create this I personally would call it multiverse of data spaces so that every company is able to share the bit of data which is relevant for their technology or business process with their suppliers or their customers in a trusted way. And I really hope that this will be uh, able to give the next boost to digitization of the industry, especially of the smaller and medium-sized enterprises who have a hard time embracing all the benefits that digitization can give them because they don't have the resources to really put it to work.